I'm just going to. Uh, it's such a shame it's uh, in the hours of darkness, but. <coughs> yeah, the rule here is uh, there's no sacking allowed. You're allowed to put fish in the retainer just to get yourself salted. So. Uh, that is a beast. That is a fantastic fish. So we've got no option, folks, but to. Uh, do the filming uh, in darkness. You may be uh, able to hear the little pit of patter raindrops in the distance. Uh, we've had a small amount of rain now for the last, on and off for the last two or three hours, but fish are really, really active now. I was, I've been experiencing liners on two rods for the last, uh, it's got to be over an hour. And eventually the middle rods pulled up tight. And this is my prize. 35, 14 was it, Bob? It was, on the nail, mate. Uh, not far from the left hand rod, middle rod in that little channel again. CM2 bottom bait over about three or four handfuls. Absolutely. Stunning condition. Uh, we got the one that I was filming Mark with safely in the uh, in the net, and uh, I'll uh, I'll save that one until we get him out. But uh, we were just going to sort that fish out, and another couple of bleeps, and Mark was on it on his to his other rod, left hand, the lock of flash, and uh, look at this for uh, at an abundance of scales. Absolutely superb. PB broke again. Oh. Just had a little bleep myself then. Uh, 47 on the money. <laughs> Look at that beast. Oh. Oh. Just on the stills. So unfortunately, Mark, it's got to yeah. go back. She's got to go now. I've had my enjoyment. And there she blows. Bye bye, girl. Beautiful scales. Well behaved as well. Yeah, considering. Funny fancy Tanti Terra for his breakfast. And not about Mark either. <laughs> no, I haven't eaten any yet. But uh, another clonker this time out in the middle of the lake, this one. So uh, maybe um, with that wind and uh, a bit of rain, it's pushed them off the far bank. Oh, I just... It'd be nice if we could get a few out in the middle. Just started to rain again. I just went down for a shower and he's got this prize in the net. Waiting for me to video for him. Yeah, it's a bit lively again. Another one he fancied uh, Tanji Terra for his breakfast. This is we've got a, a fighter jet coming across us. It's all happening here, folks. But uh, we'll pan round after we've uh, shot this because the wind, well, sexy, sexy, sexy. These are real carpy conditions now. Uh, it's quite overcast. It's not cold at all. Um, the wind is just stacking against that bank. This rod's been back out, I don't know, two hours. As I say, Mark pops to the shower block we're taking it in turns to go down and uh, sitting on the bed chair just looking at the spot eyes were glued to it and I thought it's got to go any minute now I've seen quite a few fish show this morning and the rods just melted off give it credit this one it took me all over the place real ploddy spurgy at times fight I did think it was a bit of a donkey but <laughs> 28 pound it's oh, a small fish yeah it's and, and this one's on 28 pound on the money. Yep, look at the colours of that, folks. It's more like a huge goldfish. Yep. Absolutely mint. I don't think I've ever caught a common carp that red before. Oh, well, gold. 34 pound and 6 ounces. This is uh, another brace for Mark. Uh, we haven't had a chance to weigh the other one in the retainer, but I reckon he's nailed himself a 40 pound common. The action's just getting better and better for Mark. Um, yeah. Definitely a high 30. I think I'm going to keep yeah. it short and sweet, mate, because I'm looking okay. to the right of me and it's absolutely yeah. teaming it down. It's on its way over. <laughs> Cats and dogs, big star, but. Far margin does it again, though. Tangy Terrors. That's absolutely <laughs> stunning, mate. Another Tangy Terror eating machine. I'm absolutely over the moon. Soaked to the bone. I'm getting the van to strip off. <laughs> yep. I ain't filming that. <laughs> Alright then, mate. Alright. I'm going to put him down. No problem, mate. Congratulations. Cheers. Oh, incidentally, that's a new PB common for Mark. So he's broke his common PB twice in a matter of days. Superb, mate. Fantastic. One of his rods has gone off again, and this one's 44.6, Mark. He was, yeah. Uh, this time. Another PB, and this one's over absolutely shed loads of TTs, uh, Tangy Terrors. 
it's probably that's just an absolutely got a couple of kilo in this morning Christ, that's a, that's a minter and just left it all day. there is not a blemish on this after fish. probably one of the worst nights of the trip look what matt's gone and bagged absolute minter superb 35 pound one ounce so that's my second a little surprise john to seven's full of them Weighing in at 13 pounds and, well, remind me, Mark, 13 pound, 11 ounces? Impaired. Was it 14 pound? I'm not yeah, we've had uh, some more action since uh, this capture. This one's, yeah, this one's been in the retainer for, uh, I would say, a good half an hour. But, uh, yep, there's only about, what, two or three koi's maybe in the lake? Three, I think. Yeah, we've seen at least one, if not two, but we've seen one, which is literally a, a completely blood red one show at least three or four times since we've been here and uh, Mark's gone and uh, gone and bagged himself one of them which uh, it's another PB because you've never caught a, a koi this big have you 31 14 just an absolutely perfect common and having them two I was made up I didn't need to put the rods back out it's just um, the way it's gone this week it's been really happy so the fins on that thing what else can I say if you want to catch a few fish, get over to John Tree 7. Yep. I mean, a real peach of a fish, this one. Probably the best looking at the bigger fish. I've had beautiful scale pattern on it. Fell again to the Tangy Terra. They're loving it. Far margin. Just can't get enough um, at the moment. And last night, we've had some quite prolific action, really, mate. Probably the, the most um, we've had. Probably had about eight runs between us last night. Easy. It was without that my most productive night, I think. Well, a bit fatigued, I'll be honest with you, this morning. Um, I don't know whether I had three last night or four, but it was without that my most productive one. This uh, being the icing on the cake. Uh, Little stunner, are you? 18 pounds, 7 pounds, or 18.4? Yes, 18.7. Either way, it was this. Um, a PB You can't write the script. You had a 35 comma to start proceedings, and you've now got a 34 pound mirror. Yeah. He said, wake me up at eight, and about five to eight, I was already awake, and the rod shot off, so the rod woke you up. Absolutely great. Uh, final morning, as Mark has said, we're uh, after this packing up and sadly heading back to Blighty. But uh, it's been, well, Mark's had a very eventful evening. Yeah. Great night again. But for me, it's been uh, quite a quiet one. Uh, from about six o'clock onwards, I was getting bleeps on the middle rod, which has been uh, my most productive spot during the, uh, the week long session. And I'll be honest with you, I thought the battery was going to be alarm. But uh, right on cue, as Mark says, five to eight. Uh, I could hear him uh, mulling about behind me, sticking the kettle on, God bless him. And it ripped off. So I can only presume that this one was having a good route around on the spot. 